My name is Allison Larson, and I am principal of my own company, Tadzo, where I do economic development and site selection consulting. My work in site selection evolved out of my experience in economic development, and I feel blessed that I can move forward that way with that foundation, because all projects need to be a win-win for long-term success, both of the company and the community. Today, there's a lot of challenges for businesses in workforce development and in logistics, making sure that they're really accessing their market for products. The talent equation, though, is really hard for companies to figure out, and they need true vetting of what that means, not just today, but how they can grow with the community in skill development long term as their manufacturing, most of my work's in manufacturing, their processes also um, get more complex. They need a partner in workforce development and really understanding, going beyond the we have that program and vetting like how does that really translate into our bottom line is incredibly important. Well, you know, a lot of people come to economic development for many different ways, and I had a crazy background. I wanted to be an ag teacher when I grew up and work in agriculture. And from there to a Fortune 500 company, to an international company, and life was great, and I was traveling all the time. And then I wanted to work in my community. And I found this interesting profession of economic development where they actually pay you to do things that I felt I even wanted to volunteer and do. How great is that to contribute to my community? And working in a local area uh, and then a, a larger regional area in California was very exciting to learn a lot of the fundamentals for economic development. I was then privileged to move forward in consulting because of work and partnerships that I had made in my career. So, I feel very blessed to have now going on almost 15 years of economic development consulting and the exciting part of that is, is that I feel that I can really work with friends and family in the profession to help them advance their careers and advance their communities most importantly. When you know that individuals at all levels of your community can benefit from a good place to live, a good place to work, that touches your heart very much so. At least it does for me. I'll never forget my second job in economic development was in Fresno, California. And there was a press notice about a new win of a project. And I was working late, the same time the 6 o'clock news was on, or 6.30 news. The phone number they ran for those who were interested in the job was at my office instead of at the job placement centers. And as a result, I was picking up the phone in after hours time and hearing from the people I had directly provided an opportunity for. That was a crystal clear moment that I was in the right place doing the right thing to help people. And I, I feel that at a macro level now and a micro level, this industry, this profession, and I think it's why it attracts so many um, new generation of, of professionals into our career is because we really can impact um, someone's life in a positive way. IADC has been a huge impact on my career. I was a member of QED and, and saw the growth in the, through the merger of IADC. And the impact has been on professional development. I was late to coming to the certification process and as a result, I feel like I had new life in my career because I learned so much more. I was able to be more engaged in things because I had a broader knowledge to that education process. And I'm a huge proponent of now giving back in the profession even more so than I did before. And that is help others grow their careers and mentoring them through the CXD um, preparation process and then on to how they'll apply and be more involved in the organization, that gives me great joy. There's a lot of noise in multimedia. It's, we see it changing movements in, in politics today. Lots of things happen because of that noise. The interesting thing is we have credible sources of information 
incredible leaders in our community and their economic developers. And I think great challenge is to break through the noise and be respected for credible information and to lead change in communities. As a result, I think that the leadership opportunities that IEDC offers and the way to network with peers to find out new solutions is immensely important going forward in our profession. It's certainly interesting to see how demographics are impacting our profession. There's certainly concern about the next generation of economic development leadership. What I think is awesome is that IEDC and the profession and the professionals have fully embraced diversity, diversity in age, diversity in thought, and to me that's the iconic image of what economic development is about, is how we bring all those things together in order to come up with the best solutions, the most innovative solutions, and that takes a big change in the way that we go about our day-to-day -day business. So I'm happy to see that embracement. Historically, economic development has over time been about attraction, right? Um, because there's a lot of high in that. People find that to be sexy and bring in the new thing and be in the know, satisfy that elected official so they can stand there with literally the golden shovel and make the groundbreaking. And those are all really important things to grow our economy globally. Um, at the same time, we need to look at you know, what are local employers needing? How do they grow and innovate? How does that great mind come up with the next great business idea or the great service idea that makes the community a better place? Because ultimately, I don't think jobs and economic development are really about how many new jobs, what's the capital investment, did that tax base get better? It's about the impact of what those jobs, what that capital in, um, investment can do, about how the community can um, yield a better place to live, a better place to think, a better place to cultivate the next great thing that benefits society. It's exciting to be young in economic development today. There's lots of opportunities for engagement. And I would say step up, be present, your voice is valued. Try to get involved in whatever you're interested in. Ask questions, learn. I think all generations value every generation's voice. So there's a learning component balanced with participation. You know, on first thought, you think tools of the trade, all the new technology. Of course, we're not FedExing or faxing information among each other. You've probably heard that before, going on to all kinds of exciting new um, uh, platforms on the cloud. But what I think about when you ask that is the two most important tools in it for an economic developer have been, always will be, the two ears on your, on your head. Because the more we listen to people and learn what their motivations are, that helps us lead to uh, ways that we can engage them. Because fundamentally, engagement, getting people participating in the process to own what the solutions are to their community, that's what economic development's about. This is an exciting time where economic development as a profession, as an industry, has come of age. Today, people can really start a career knowing that they want to pursue something that makes a big difference. And I'm so proud and so excited, um, both proud for those who, for in the past, of what they've accomplished and, and our new generation of economic developers coming forward. Because bottom line is, people are making a difference in this profession for their peers and communities all over the world. Economic development has always been about engaging leadership in the community in order to set a community on a path for solutions. If you have a problem, it's never been complaining about the problem and just identifying the problem. It's then connecting to the solutions. And with the exciting tools we have for communication and research and data, and I'll say communication again because it's that important, 
that's what's going to move forward the profession in a way that we can continue to make positive impact, but positive impact with support from many diversified parties of the community. Some of the greatest work I've ever done and enjoyed was certainly in the field, and I feel blessed that I've been able to now work um, in North, throughout North America to add value to communities to help them get what they need done. Um, certainly sharing of best practices and highlighting those success stories. I tend to do a lot of work in rural areas and I think that's because I grew up in a town of about 4,000 and I understand those dynamics and find that people really can do things even with limited resources. And as a result, I have invested a lot of professional development and a lot of my experience and just plain fun is in facilitation. And so the, a the ability to bring um, diverse groups together and walk away at the end of a session or a series of sessions with agreement and ownership and excitement about what they decided on and what they really want to do, that brings me great joy. And not always is that possibly done by someone locally. If they're able to bring in someone to ask the questions, the tough questions, to get them thinking in a different way, to help them see examples that they're not alone in this, that there are good best practices that they can pick up and maybe make their own local twist on, that brings me great joy. I think it's all part of the strategic planning process or all kinds of planning. It, that um, engagement and letting them drive what they're doing versus going off into you know, somewhere else and writing a strategy. I'm all about, let's build this together. I'm gonna help you with the resources so you get to do what you are committed to doing, that, that what you want to champion and implement. One of my proudest accomplishments certainly has been earning the Certified Economic Developer designation or CFD. I was working at a consulting firm and we were doing work all over the US, but no one had their certification. And I said, how can we be credible without this international designation? So I was proud to pursue it and the process was just as rewarding as the actual uh, pin that I was awarded. I met many dear friends to this day along the way and probably the greatest outcome is now I have been able to mentor successful candidates and that brings great joy to me.